Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Sam and today I would like to share with you a project uh, vlog or a project video. I've seen many many other knitters and creative uh, doing this type of videos so I thought it would have been a great idea as uh, today I'm gonna cast on a new project. I'm very sorry for the light which is coming in at the slant from the window. It's uh, April 15 today and uh, we have finally some sun here in Dublin so I'm very happy to keep all the windows open to get every ray of sun into this very dark room. So uh, before we start let me introduce you the project I would like to talk to you and then I'll tell you a little bit about how these videos are gonna work. This is not a knitting podcast as my usual, I want to go through finished works, works in progresses and acquisitions but I would like to take you step by step into the hopeful creation of this project. This will help me both keep in track of the knitting, as uh, you know if you've seen my previous um, podcast or vlog, I have been uh, casting on a crazy amount of knitting so uh, I really need something that helps me to track my knittings and this is a nice venue and as well I like to share with you techniques and stuff like that. And then uh, the, the other piece is that it's completely new to me, uh, both the construction of these jumpers, uh, the techniques that we're gonna look into and uh, so if step by step I find myself in a bit of a twitch I may as well ask you guys so hopefully we'll get through this together easily so the project that I'm uh, starting is this one um, I can share this page because uh, it's all information that is uh, publicly available on the robbery but I'm gonna um, try to start the zipper sweater light for men by petite knit. I'll put a picture here if uh, you'd like to see better the situation but you can find the link to the patterns below in the description as well. This is a pattern for sale so I want to be getting into uh, stitch count amount of uh, decreases increases and stuff like that. Unfortunately you get to get the pattern to get those informations but I will share as much as I can without getting away the pattern. So how does it come that I want to knit such a sweater? Well um, the inspiration comes uh, once again from uh, It Is A Sarah uh, podcast and uh, here on YouTube you can find the links below. It's a great great podcast if you want to uh, raise your endorphin. Sarah is uh, a magnificent knitter but as well she has such a positive energy and it's just amazing and the episodes come twice a week uh, I think so it's, it's a great podcast. Anyway Sarah was knitting uh, this jumper for her husband and it turned out to be a beautiful jumper but that wasn't really what made me decide to try and knit one. She mentioned as well in a further episode that she was uh, knitting something else, I can't remember now which pattern, but that she used the way of installing the zipper, the technique and the instruction out of this sweater, the uh, zipper sweater light from Petit Knit. And I thought that that was a brilliant idea. I never um, been successful in installing a zipper, which will look exactly like the top that I'm wearing. This is, of course, a commercial sport top. But it's something that I wear all the time. I have plenty of this type of tops with halfway zippers. And the fact that Sarah mentioned that she used the instruction from this jumper to uh, apply to another pattern made me click and <laughs> realize that it may be something that I definitely can apply to other needs so why not uh, give it a try and uh, yeah I downloaded the pattern I printed out because I always print the patterns I like to keep notes on my patterns I know I should do this in an iPad or something uh, less wasteful but uh, I like as well having the patterns in my archive if it does make any sense. And uh, I um, already uh, went into my stash and uh, 
dig down in what I have. Uh, this is not a jumper that uh, inspire, um, how can I say, I don't want to sound bad, but it doesn't, it doesn't inspire the urge of knitting the jumper. I just want to learn from it very much. So I wasn't going to buy yarn for it. But I found that I had in stash a ish sweater amount of this yarn here. This is a Sadness Garn Pierre Gint, which is one of the yarns that are suitable for this pattern. We'll get to gauge measurement and all of that in a second. And this is color 2035. It's a lovely mustard yellow color. Not my color at all. Uh, I never wear this, but it was uh, standing in my stash for such a long time and I was like, yeah, I rather as well knit this up if it doesn't suit my feature, my skin tone as the color goes, I can always uh, gift the finish work uh, to some friends, family, and I don't mind, at least I get rid of the pattern, I don't spend um, a penny on buying new yarn, and I learn a technique, so happy days. I have, of this yarn, 12 balls, which uh, the yarn is about uh, it's 50 gram ball by 90 meters, if I'm right, if I remember well, should be. It's a DK yarn. Um, I don't know if those balls will give me a jumper. I have knitted before in my size cable sweaters using 11 balls of this yarn. So this is full stocking net, there's no cable, so I'm really hoping that it gets me through quicker on the yarn amount, but we'll see. Anyway, this is the yarn that I'm gonna use. In terms of uh, um, gauge, let's talk about this. Uh, this call for a 20 stitches by 28 rows per 10 centimeters, which is something that I get more or less with sport weight or uh, decay weight. I didn't swatch for this jumper based on uh, this gauge, because I think it's more or less, I've knitted before with this exact yarn, and I'm using the exact needles that I've knitted before, so I know that more or less my gauge is around the 20 stitches by 28 rows, so we'll see, we'll hope that. On circular needles, uh, the pattern recommends for a 3mm and a 4mm needles. I'm going down needle size, 275 and 3.5mm. That usually works for me. I haven't realized uh, that I'm a loose knitter, but apparently I am one. So going a little down will give me the bang on gauge and I'll be happy with that. In terms of uh, sizing, now, I am chest wise, my circumference here is of exactly 100 centimeters. Sometimes it goes higher, sometimes it goes lower. So I decided to cast on the second size, which is recommended for 117 centimeters. Now, the pattern says that we have 20 centimeters of positive ease. So second size already gives me 17 centimeters more than my boss circumference plus the 20 centimeters of positive ease, which is quite a big chunk of knitting. Now, as I'm talking about this on the camera, I probably think I should even cast on the smaller size. There's something that makes me extraordinarily uncomfortable in casting on the first size of a jumper. So let's go with the second one. And those 30 centimeters of positive ease can be eventually modified going forward with the knitting, with some decreases here and there. Well, tell you all about that as we get on with the knitting. That's it in terms of material sizing gauge, I think. Needle-wise, I'm using Haya Haya, this set here, which is now probably very messy. I've opened it the other day to check my needles, but yeah, it's a set of Haya Haya that came with a few stitch, a few needles, 
Um, and then I added on and on as I go. These are uh, generally my favorite tornadoes. I have been talking about this brand uh, before. In my podcast, uh, they are great. Let me know if you want a full review of this set, but you definitely can find uh, reviews of high higher needles on the internet. So it's a great set, better in my opinion than Chaogu or other brands. So the first thing that we're gonna do today is casting on for the color. The pattern starts from the color. This is actually, this top is actually a great example of what the finish work will be. Starting from the color, if I read correctly the pattern, the color then is folded enough, leaving some stitches on the uh, on waste yarn to knit then the facing for the zipper. And then you knit flat on the short row piece for the shoulder, you join in the round as you go down, um, probably leave some stitches apart for the sleeves, but I haven't got that far yet. Anyway, let's cast on the collar and uh, we'll check uh, later on today, perhaps? So, beautiful people, it's uh, later on, on the 15th of April and uh, I have been basically doing nothing else apart from knitting. And uh, this turned out to be a great work for mindless knitting, watching a podcast, watching some television, listening to the radio and knit through. So I should have checked in earlier in the day, but this is what we get now. I know it's a little bunched, but we got the color. So the color asks you the color. The initial piece asks you to cast on with the Judy Magic cast on technique type of thing. And then uh, you leave a certain amount of stitches on hold and you pick up those stitches afterwards. So the color is folded in half. I don't know if you can see from the camera. Then the short row piece uh, starts on the back of the neck and uh, beautiful raglan decreases for the sleeves. Now this is all flat and it's a lot of uh, knitting, a lot of ribbing and a lot of knitting, flat, a lot of purling, that's what I'm trying to say. But I'm pretty happy with my purling. I don't think we have any issue of uh, rowing out. Of course, the yarn is still a little bit, what you call it, uh, crooked, but a nice little block will definitely help um, a lot. I still have a big piece of the back to go through before I join in the round the two parts. And it's getting very long here. We have almost 300 stitches already and I still have a fair amount to go but I'm very tired today and I don't think I'm gonna need more on this jumper here. Overall I'm super happy with um, the finishes, uh, you know, Pierre Gint never um, disappoints, it's always a very reliable good yarn. Now the thing that I'm thinking about, I don't know if it, this is going to work at all, but this is going to be the color like this and the uh, part is going to go down my uh, shoulders. 
You know that I was talking this morning about um, the first size having um, more than the second size, sorry, having more than 30 centimeters of ease, considering my bust circumference. So I'm really thinking of going down a size. The first and the second size have the same stitch count so far. So I still am in time. I'm gonna have a think about it when I join the end of the back piece and knitted flat and when the two sizes kind of differs and we'll see where we get from there. But yeah, so far I'm very happy. It's, um, it's a lot of knitting and a lot of knitting done in one day, to be honest. And it's all stuck in a stitch, so yeah, yeah, it's easy, it's easy. So I will leave it on the side for tonight and I'm gonna check back with you probably tomorrow, probably the day after and see where we are. This video is gonna be sort of an installment and this is like the first part. I'm prone to publish it without making just a giant big old video so that I know that I have to need to get through this before that. Um, something that I was thinking while knitting is the zipper now. I don't own, I don't think I do, any zipper, any piece of haberdashery that could work as a zipper at all in my stash. I'm thinking, but I can't recall owning one. So now if you have any recommendations for me on the zipper side, um, I have no idea where I put the button to tell you what type of zipper they ask for, but is there any shop? that I can buy zippers online or should I go to a sewing haberdashery shop in town? How does this work? I never purchased one and I don't know about that. So let me know, please. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this tiny little video for today. And uh, yeah, once again, I'll see you very soon with the second installment and hopefully we'll have a little bit more of this jumper done. Bye bye.